it is the hardest sport to make a make a living in. Like there's that video out where they talk about how it's like it's 60 feet, and then by the time the pitcher takes a stride and throws, it's really like 55 to 53 feet, or uh, because like depending on how much of a like reach the pitcher has. Then if they're throwing 97 miles per hour, that cuts down on it. So really you have like 0.3 milliseconds to decide whether or not to swing at a ball. And we're all like, how come you couldn't hit that? And it's like, well, there's a reason why. Like, so these guys don't get shit because it's seen as a lazy man sport, but it's like, it is the toughest sport. You could be the biggest fucking star in the world, get drafted. And like Bryce Harper, you still have to go through low A, high A, you know, like advanced A ball, double A triple a then pray that there's a spot that opens up the major league team then you get up there and you have to pray that you hit well enough or field well enough or pitch well enough in the first like month that they're not just like well this is a snake maybe he's just a trip a quadruple a player like it is so hard this rant is basically me trying to add on to what you're saying about the phillies developing these like guys in the caribbean and finding them and it's just like i think they give up so easily on players and it's like maybe jalen ortiz wasn't doing good because he had somebody die in the family or he needed contacts and no one knew it, or they're just, you know what I mean? And we're the Phillies just give up. It's just like, Oh, well he's screwed because he had a bad after he was the next big popper. He was supposed to be the next big guy. Like, you know who I think they did this with? And I think it could have turned out so much different is the guy that Hoskins came up with the left-hander. That, cousins. Yes. Ben I cousins, think yeah. they fucked cousins so much. And he, they, it could have been so different, but they just gave up on him like that. It was just like, he's done. But it's like, they do that so much more often than they do with, like, Hoskins, where they've stuck with him. And I'll admit it, I'm not the biggest Reese Hoskins fan, and we've had this conversation. And it's not, it's not so much about Reese. It's about how the organization portrays him. And it's like, for all the chances Reese Hoskins has gotten, if they would have given half of those to Cousins, or try to invest some of that time in Jalen Ortiz or so many of these other guys, you know, like who knows how many more better prospects we could have. But I feel like this organization just gives up on so many players so easily and they just choose certain ones that they want to get behind. And if that's not it, like Ryan Howard almost was that case. For the longest time, it was like Ben Shim Tummy play Ryan Howard. For the longest time, that was the argument in this city. Until Ryan Howard finally got his chance. And what did he do? Boom, 56 home runs. Yeah. And, no. and that's the biggest – I think that was always been and will continue to be until something changes the issue with this organization. Yeah, I mean, I think it starts with the front office. And there has to be someone that is willing to put their foot down and be like, no, like we got to give these younger guys some at-bats. Like – I'm sorry, but I, you mean to tell me that like Derek Hall can get as many chances as he's gotten, but Jalen Ortiz can't. And Thank you. Exactly. Like, like I, I agree. Like when that Dylan cousin, when Dylan cousins got called up, I remember texting my friends and being like, Oh my God, Dylan cousins is coming up. We're going to have him and Hoskins. It's going to be a one, two power yeah, punch. Dude, I was so excited. And, and like, he hit like, 200 220 from what i remember or something like that and then all of a sudden it was just houdini act he was gone and i was like wait what like wait wait a minute what they, this guy they did it with uh de los santos too the pitcher i remember yeah. watching enyo de los santos i went to a ready or um the lehigh valley game and he started and he spun like a two hit eight and a half like eight and two thirds shutout like they got the win but he he pitched for eight and two thirds he was Beautiful and great. It's triple A, but like it was like 22, 23. He was just moving the ball everywhere. Boom, 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 boom. Like it was beautiful. He came up, had two or three really good starts. And then in his like, I think it was like his third or fourth start against the Marlins. He was pitching good. There was an there was an error in the field, and then he made one mistake. And they and the somebody on the Marlins, I think it was um Garrett Cooper, whenever one of those 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 first basemen that they had back in the day a couple of years ago caught him on it and hit like a two run home run. And Kapler was just like, Nope, you're done. It was literally it was yeah. the only mistake he made all game. And then they sat there and they jerked him back and forth between triple a, the bullpen starting, and he never got good. And he's a prime example of this organization just giving up on players so easily. And it's like, but they'll invest 
all the time in the world and Derek Hall or Reese Hoskins or even Chooch, like all the time in investment they put in Chooch. And I love Chooch, but it's just like, why couldn't they do that with certain pe- other people?